channel guys and today is the long awaited setup tour of 2016. So I'll be doing it in two parts. In the first part, I'll show you guys my editing and gaming setup and in the second part, I'll show you guys my room tour and my console gaming setup. So let's quickly drop into the setup. And everything I show you guys or mention in the video, links will be in the description. So this is basically my setup. This is a custom made table with a thick glass on top. This table got 8 huge drawers to keep my stuff. All my cables, my devices and packages. All kind of stuff. So this is the top side of the table. As you guys can see, I can clearly see from the top what's inside my table and where is all this stuff. When this table was under construction, I thought about building a PC inside it. But there is not enough space to do a build like that and that build is still pending. But maybe in future, I'll build an editing PC inside it by removing one of the drawers. Moving on to the drawers of the table, I like to keep my table neat and clean and everything will be in the drawers on their spot. In this drawer, I keep all my cables, chargers and some more devices, a PSP, a tablet, a Blackberry and a old Nokia device. I keep my headphones here and a Bluetooth device which I use when I am driving. I keep all the cables and chargers like this. This is actually pretty helpful. I can always find my cables on spot. I hardly lose them. I can find all the USB cables, chargers here in one spot. That's how I like to organize my drawers so that I can quickly find my stuff. Moving on to the second drawer. In this drawer, I keep all my wallets, an extra pair of glasses, my contact lenses and my favorite thing that is watches. I am a huge fan of G-Shock but now most of the time I wear my smartwatch to stay up to the date on notification and this is my Moto 360 smartwatch which helps me to stay up to date on notifications all the time. In the next drawer I keep some paperwork of old devices and extra stuff that I don't need anymore but still I keep it in this drawer. This drawer is only for paperwork stuff. Next is the main powerhouse of my desktop. Everything on table gets power from these switches. All the switches are built into the table and the main connection is connected into the power switch into the wall. That's how I manage my cables. I can plug all my cables and devices in here. I don't need to plug them in the wall. As I told you guys, this table is custom built. I designed this table from start to end and the carpenter built it the way I want it. All the cables from iMac and PC and home theater system come through these holes that are built on the back side of the table. These all are must to hide the cables and route them to their sockets without creating a mess. And this is my Wi-Fi router which is connected to my PC and iMac. This router is specifically for this room only. Moving on to the UPS for the PC. Only my PC is connected to the UPS cause the PC takes a lot of power. That's why I only keep the PC connected to it. All the switches in table have a power backup from inverter. In case I face a power cut, I'll have a backup to shut down things. And this is the 10,000 watt home theater system which is connected to iMac. The subwoofer is on the top of the table and all the mini speakers are hidden behind the iMac and the monitor. The sound quality of home system is kick ass. The subwoofer provides a lot of bass. It literally shakes the whole table when I increase the volume of the subwoofer. Moving on to the next drawer, I keep all my camera equipment, all my lenses, chargers in this drawer. All the cameras are in my backpack right now. And this is a very old camera from Yashica. This one is literally my first camera when I was 10 years old. It still works but you need a roll in there to take a picture. It is still old school. And yeah, a selfie stick for the GoPro. These are the charges of my camera and cells for flash and other things. And in this drawer I keep all the empty boxes of devices and some other stuff. And here I got my Parrot drone. This is the Parrot Power Edition 2.0 drone. It comes with two 1500mAh batteries and provides a flight time of 10 minutes on a single battery. And some more boxes of the devices and batteries and charger for my drone. And this is the best drawer. And this drawer houses all my backpacks cause I travel a lot. I got tons of backpacks for my camera equipment and for my everyday activities. Moving on top of the table, I have a triple monitor setup. In the center, I have a 27 inch 5K iMac for editing my videos. And on the left side, a 22 inch dial monitor connected to it. To edit videos for editing videos, you need a double monitor setup. I edit all my stuff on FCPX, which is a Final Cut Pro X software. I hardly use Premiere Pro because I edit all my wedding films on FCPX. And yeah, if you guys don't know, I am a professional wedding filmmaker. So that's why I use iMac to edit films. Now many people would say, why would I need a 5K iMac? I'll answer your question later on. Moving on to the right side is my gaming PC. The cabinet is from Circle. Circle is an Indian brand which makes gaming cases, headphones and many stuff. And it houses Intel Core i5, 16GB of RAM, GTX 970 4GB AMP Edition, 2TB of hard drive, a 256GB SSD. If you want to check my PC build, click on the link right now.
My gaming PC is connected to a 22 inch Dell monitor same as the monitor on the left. And for the PC I have these super cheap speakers right here. They are from an Indian brand named DG Flip. And these speakers are super cheap they are like $5 only. The next thing on my table is these racks on which my monitors are sitting. These racks are also custom made they are built according to my iMac size so that all the monitors line up perfectly. Everything on this setup is made precisely to complete all my needs. Under my iMac is a 2TB USB 3.0 hard disk for backing up my wedding films and YouTube data on which I am working right now. Other than that all the data goes to my NAS server which is sitting in another room. I'll show you guys that in part 2. On the table I got a JBL GO Bluetooth speaker and a JBL Pulse which is in my bag right now. JBL GO is a very powerful speaker from JBL according to its size and for that price it is the best Bluetooth speaker available right now in the market. And I got a little treasure chest which I bought on my recent trip from Kashmir. So it is not available online. In this I keep all my memory cards for all my devices. This is the my Moto 360 charger. It stays on the table all the time. Cause whenever my Moto 360 is out of battery I can play it sit on the dock and charge it up. This is my iMac keyboard and Apple Magic Mouse, a wireless keyboard and a wired keyboard for my PC. This keyboard is from Microsoft and this keyboard is 10 years old. If I am right, I bought this keyboard 10 years back when I bought my first PC. And this is my first PC with 2GB of RAM, dual core and this champ still works, even after 10 years. I don't have a gaming keyboard or mouse or the one with LEDs cause I think these keyboards are perfect for gaming. There isn't anything like I can't play with game them or something like that. I play games using that 10 year old Microsoft keyboard and that keyboard works perfect. But yeah the shift key sucks sometimes. And this is a phone stand or dog whatever my phone rests here when I am not using it. And these are my daily driver phones a iPhone 5s, Moto G 2nd gen, 3rd gen and a Lumia 1020. That's all from my table. Now I am gonna wrap up this video that's all for part 1 and in part 2 I'll give you guys a room tour and console gaming setup. That's all for now and stay tuned for more amazing stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one.